Hi, I'm Taylor with Holmes Agro. Hi there, I'm Lucas Meyer with uh, Yara here in Ontario. And we're here today to talk about uh, micronutrients and zinc in particular. So in the past, we've typically supplied micronutrients through granular. And uh, as we continue to push crop performance higher and higher, uh, our requirements for these micronutrients becomes uh, more and more important to make sure we're supplying our needs that there is no shortage to the plant uh, through any of these micronutrients. So, so in front of me here, we have kind of our traditional and conventional way of supplying mi micronutrients through a dry program in the case of a grower using granular fertilizer. So in the past, to supply a pound to two pounds of zinc would require five to 10 pounds an acre granular fertilizer. And obviously as we distribute those granulars further apart in a blend, our accuracy to supply zinc becomes very challenging. So on average in a two pound per acre zinc rate, we're only getting 10 particles in that blend to land inside a square meter. So on three one meter strips of corn, we're only supplying 10 pieces of granular fertilizer to grow that corn crop. And as we push up closer to 200 bushel or more for corn, our requirement is very important for zinc to make sure we're moving that phosphorus inside the plant as we should. Uh, so Lucas here is gonna get the Yara's new concept on uh, how we can better supply zinc more accurately. Yeah, I think, I think that's great Taylor what you demonstrated there. I mean, it, it, what we're doing on paper, it, it, we're supplying that crop, you know, that 200 bushel crop with the zinc that we need it. Then when it comes time to the field and application, that's where sometimes, you know, we've got, we've got maybe a bit of gap on that, right? And that's where Yara has, uh, has a product called Yara Vita Pro Coat. So what Yara Vita Pro Coat is, is an impregnation oil-based liquid product that allows homes to apply it to any granular blend that they, they're able to blend. So what you do is you would, on your starter blend, uh, apply, uh, your zinc pro coat on and it would cover each granule and, and what that allows us to do is use the 150 or 200 pounds of the blend in the starter as a carrier for that micronutrient. So as you can see uh, we've demonstrated sort of the three rows or of, a, of a meter of corn and now we've got about 150 pounds of starter fertilizer in each of these rows and every one of those granules laying in that row has some form of, of zinc in this case and what that does is it helps supply uh, incremental but also you know plant available using every granule as a carrier for that micronutrient increases plant availability not in the sense that the product isn't available but the interceptions that the roots can have to pick up that zinc uh, across the field and so like you know compared to what Taylor has demonstrated over here we've got a lot more sites where that crop can can pick up that zinc and as we continue to build yield uh, we tend to push more phosphorus and uh, or more starter fertilizers to help that crop perform uh, and the relationship between zinc and phosphorus is very important. We spend a lot of time looking at nitrogen and sulfur ratios but a lot of time we miss uh, some of our other key key balances in our fertility program and how to better balance our soils. So uh, as we maintain good zinc inside our uh, high phosphorus program or inside that band or bulk spread with the zinc there, we promote a much more active uh, mycorrhizae or biological system inside the soil. Um, they really do perform better in a well-balanced situation. They'll actually become lazy inside just a single phosphorus zone. From our standpoint too, it's important whenever you're thinking about phosphorus or increasing your phosphorus rate is definitely to consider increasing that rate with, with zinc in a granular form or, or in a pro-coat pro -coat rate as well. All right, so now we're gonna take a shift over uh, and have a bit of discussion on finishing off a potato crop. Uh, so here we've got a field well into our senescence period. Uh, potato crops maturing really well, but there's obviously lots of energy left in these vines yet uh, as they start to mature. So finishing off the season is really important with uh, making sure we, we use all that energy that we've stored inside that plant all year, but that we also maintain our quality uh, there's no hollows, discolorations inside those tubers as we finish them and top kill them. So as we get into that, we focus a lot on boron at the tail end of the season uh, 
to really help us move nutrients. So now Lucas is going to elaborate more on the function of boron inside the potato crop to finish things up. No, thanks Taylor. That's a, a very good point about boron and what we, how Yara likes to look at boron in the potato crop uh, in particular is, is as, as sort of helping on that, that highway transport of moving nutrients from this, the tops down into the tuber to help finish off, finish off the crop. What ends up happening is we, we, we help with sizing up the potato as we get closer to senescence, as well as moving all, all the necessary nutrients to kind of help with the, with the finishing of that crop to have a quality potato, as well as something that carries on into storage also. And as we continue to push nutrients and energy down at that uh, end of the season, we're taking kind of our smaller profile of potatoes and making sure they are something much more marketable for us. Uh, that we're not just focusing just on the large tubers that have already been collecting a lot of energy. It distributes much more evenly inside that set underneath the plant. So that really helps finish up a crop. Nice uh, quality size profile, uh, storability there as well. Thanks everybody for taking the time to tune in to hear about the importance of micronutrients and assortment of different crops, whether it's zinc and uh, whether it's cash crop the same rules apply to a high phosphorus environment in potato production uh, and boron uh, may hold a little different roles in potatoes still holds a lot of uh, reproductive importance uh, as a very important nutrient in all crops so thanks for taking the time to tune in to listen to us today thanks